Alright, so I'm finishing up a Euro mount on a buck. The skull I just picked up the other day. It rained last night, so I had to get some white pine that I found lying around to burn. It's dry. But uh, this is how to do it in your backyard. You need a stock pot that'll hold the skull. I already got <coughs> at least half of it done. Got most of the hide removed. A lot of the flesh got the lower jaw removed, but it's still a lot that won't come off, so I still gotta boil it. <laughs> These need boiling too. Careful with those nose bones, they will break. Especially if you boil it too long. It's already boiled a couple hours, it's gonna give it another hour or two. Got some borax and dish soap in the water to help out with the process. But now just gotta keep feeding the fire and letting it simmer for another hour or two. Then I can get to work cleaning it off again. letting it cook it's not boiling yet we kind of don't want it to full boil just kind of simmer have a few bubbles coming up you know careful not to get the flame let the flames get too high uh, got a little black on the antler it'll clean off when you're cleaning the antlers don't scrub too hard I guess you don't want to remove that nice brown color this is the third change of water because this was a half rotten head but on a normal deer head, you skin it out and take the eyeballs out, and you don't need to change the water so much. Alright, it's been in about an hour or so. Just gonna pull it out and look at it, make sure it's all looking alright. Especially the nose, we don't want that to start falling apart. It's missing three teeth, but I saved them. Gonna super glue them back in at the end. It's looking all right. All right, it's been two hours. Time to take it out and clean that meat off of it. <clears throat> Looks like it should fall off the bone pretty easily now. I got a scraper, toothbrush. We'll see what we can do with that. May need to take a hose to it, get everything out, including the brains, sinuses, everything. You may need to clean the brains out with a toothbrush or something but uh, make sure you get it all out and rinse out with a hose or faucet or whatever rinse it all out scrub everything off scrape it off scrub it off whatever you need to do get everything clean all the cracks rinse out the sinus cavities real well from, from both ends don't want anything caught up in there get it all clean and dry and then we'll go on to bleaching All right, now we're ready to mount this on the plaque. You can buy uh, wooden plaques from Walmart or uh, Hobby Lobby, other hobby stores. Uh, they're pretty cheap, usually white pine. I use them for those for most of my mounts, but for this one, I got a piece of old barn wood. What we're gonna do is drill the holes for the screws and drill holes in the skull and then put the screws in. A lot of people will just drill through the back of the skull but uh, I like to put them in through these two just so that there's no chance of it rotating around now you look at it sideways see how that lines up like this it's gonna line up like that so these little pieces of bone here are gonna support the skull and then these back here where the spine attaches that's where we're gonna actually drill the screws into Put your skull on the board first, mark everything, make sure it's accurate and as precise as you can make it, and then start drilling holes. Alright, so I've chosen 
these screws I just have a whole can of screws use a drill bit that's wide enough to let them kind of go through the board easily and then I'm going to use a smaller diameter drill bit for the skull so that the threading bites into it a little better Make sure it fits right. Make sure everything fits snug and then make sure you need you know where exactly you need to drill your holes in the skull. Alright, I've uh, drilled the holes. I couldn't get that on video because it's really hard to get the drill bit started on this, but uh, they're fairly decent. Now the screws are secure. <clears throat> Want to make sure the skull is lined up all right. Slightly crooked, but we can work it a little bit. Nails will bend a little. Just be real careful if you're adjusting it so you don't break the bone or anything. Now you want to be able to hang your plaque on the wall, right? So take two little screws. I'm going to use these because they match but uh, two little screws and you just want to line them up near the top of your mount just space them about two three inches apart and uh, screw them into the wood not all the way leave a little room to put some wire around them now you can see what I've done is use some wire I like to use paper clips but that's just a kind of a preference thing you can use picture wire or anything like that um, if you use a paper clip or a stiff wire like this, wrap it around the screws at least a couple times so it doesn't pull loose just from hanging for a while. And uh, this is a little bit adjustable too. You can have your nail on the wall, move it left or right. You can have it hanging right there. And uh, if your left antler is heavier, you know. But uh, just make give it enough room to adjust it so your uh, mount doesn't hang crooked on the wall. That's another skull I found. You can see I have a short video of that one. I found it about two and a half years ago. But uh, we're gonna have to make a little room here. Basically, I'm out of wall space. And we'll see what it looks like here. Both of those are the skulls that I picked up. Wish I could say I killed one of them, but they both look real good on the wall. I killed that one, and I killed that longhorn buck. First archery buck and first long beard right there. But uh, these two are just for nice. Always fun to pick something up in the woods. <laughs> 